Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to explain about uh, beast mode calculus in Indomo. So just have, before starting, I just want to give a little bit uh, intro about beast mode. Beast mode is just a calculation like uh, in a Domo at a card label, we, we will calculate uh, any, we can calculate anything like average, um, mean, median, or we can write uh, some conditional column we can create some measure we can create some dimension okay and the syntax will be same that we have in a sql and uh, mostly in a domo it's a uh, mm, domo use mysql syntax so whatever formula like and whatever function we have in the mysql same thing we have in a domo beast mode calculation and domo also suggests like it's give hints to calculate uh, Mm, to create a calculation in base mode so it's very simple just uh, click on add calculation field or go to beast mode and click on that so both are same okay now very simple like first we need to give the name like what anything like whatever we want to give as so table name we should keep just example uh, i am going to calculate the sum sum of uh, all price so just give the name sum of price anything uh, like we have we should give the sum suitable name now uh, either we can write directly the formula if we know the mysql okay if we don't know we have the google either we have the option function like which function i want to so use so some formula comes under mathematical function let's go to the mathematics let's look for that I think this is not available here but we have some other mathematical function like absolute mod power rand round but definitely it should be somewhere let's go to the common so in the common we have average mean max sum so these are common formula the sum comes under mathematics but this is very common formula like in our reporting uh, environment we do use on daily basis i can say we do use frequently that's why it is domo has kept has kept this under common formula just click on that S sum okay now sum is there now uh, which column we want to use in the sum it's a very simple uh, either we can select the column from here or if we know the column name just type here so let's go to the to select the column item cost we can take like sum of total item cost very simple now it has given this formula will return the sum of item cost just validate this now we have already created the sum price okay we can see and we can use this anywhere sum price we can use here okay so simply uh, this is giving the sum of price for every individual store setting okay and so in this way we can use uh, all the functions like uh, we can create the formula based on available function okay either if we know the mysql it's a very good if we don't know domo have a, a function available and the next is like if maybe we don't know the mysql okay then how to use the formula first thing we just need to drag the formula from the domo tab only other like how to use so when we click on the formula domo give the function description like how can we use and the formula so simply when i click on add date we can see add date or date time value as interval to date value in a date um, date column so add date we need to give date column first like and then interval so in an interval like how mm, we can give any number like 10 12 any number then next is the important like uh, what do we want to add either day month hour anything though like that if we click on any of the formula description will be available like how to use the formula so this makes a uh, domo uh, user friendly and uh, anyone who is not familiar with uh, sql they can use uh, and they can create the beast mode formula so this is all about beast mode formula and uh, last is just i want to describe about case statement so case statement we do use to just write uh, some conditional thing like 
make a conditional column or some conditional filter anything okay um, and here the domo gives the definition like used to begin a logic statement in which the value of data is replaced when certain criteria is reached very simple case when amount is equal to 1 then 10 else 10 0 so here domo in the description domo has given only one simple case statement but we can write a multiple case statement in one beast mode formula i can say cascade of uh, case statement let me show you the example case when month of order date is equal to one one sorry um let me now i am at the full screen but i want to go to the normal screen one then we can give anything if it's one then uh, whatever value i want to see and whatever value is required to show in the report we can give i just want to give like jan that's it next is when month of order date is equal to 2 then anything like I can give like mm, anything then uh, fab so I can write multiple when and then finally I can write like multiple when and uh, after that I need to give that else this is just optional it's not required else anything like rest of the month rest of the month then end is mandatory sorry there are some else case when month is equal to then jan when month is equal to two then fab else rest of the month or oh. end there are some error cannot have oh empty name name we need to give like month anything we can give month man anything but we must give the suitable name okay so it's done now uh, the next is like we can write a cascade uh, case statement like here we given just uh, when 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 else thing but inside the case when month is equal to jan then again we can write the one condition case so this case will comes under the first way so let me give one i have given the name one now this case when will be two okay case inside case now case when uh, week week of order date if week is equal to one now this then will come at last then jan jan week one yeah so very simple this is very simple let me validate this formula okay maybe uh, let me validate this formula so case when month of order date is, date is equal to one then it will go to the hold on Uh, but now yeah so first uh, case when month of order date is equal to one then so instead of writing any output in then I have given one more case in statement so then again case 
when week is equal to 1 then jan week 1 and end end for this case statement so whenever we write the case we have to give the end so this end is for this case statement okay then now again uh, when will start this when is for the first case statement the this when is for first case statement this when is for first case statement this is for first case statement okay and the, now this case comes under the first when okay so here also we have option to give uh, else else so else is the optional else uh, i can give uh, jan week 1 jan other week okay jan other week except week 1 very simple this should work yeah so similarly we can write a case statement in uh, this way in a statement also let me show you the case statement in this way so instead of then after then just write this and let's write remove this fab else Jan done and here also fab when then case when week order date is equal to first week then fab week one else fab other week so what will happen first it will check the month so if the month is equal to two then it will again check the week if a week is equal to one that means fab week one otherwise fab other week similarly here it will check with the mm, month if month is equal to one and then week is also one then jan week one let's validate the formula it must work yes so inside this case again i can write one more case okay uh, yeah we have the option to write again one more case so instead of then i can write again one more case case when order date day of order date is equal to day of order date is equal to I am going to give 4 then Jan week 1 mid week I can give ok else Jan other week let's validate this I think this will give error why there is a case mm, I ha again I have given one case here so I need to give a in the statement for this case also so let me give and now this should work yes so every case we have to give end so again this case starts here and this case in here but in this between this case i have given one more case so we have to give the end block so let me organize this properly okay so here also i can give uh, else else mm, chan week 1 start or last ok either it's a start or last but not a mid yeah so this is how we can write uh, multiple case statement like mm, we can first we can give multiple condition or like multiple when condition then again we can write multiple cascade of case statement in a beast mode so thank you it uh, this lecture was little bit uh, lengthy but i think this is very useful in our day to